The Acrostic of Salvation, A Rhyming Soteriology for Kids, by Jonathan Gibson and Timothy Brindle. Prologue. Let's read the Acrostic of Salvation, for Jesus and His work to be our foundation. We'll read it, rap it, we'll sing it, it's fun, till Jesus comes back and His kingdom has come. An acrostic poem uses the alphabet to teach you God's truth so you will not forget. God does this in Scripture, like Psalm 119. In Lamentations, He has a fun rhyme scheme. So from now on, we'll use the first letter to help us learn Jesus' work better. Here's the work of salvation from A to Z. Jesus Christ died and then was raised to make us free. Each page has a salvation word from the Bible so that we praise Him and not worship an idol. Jesus came to save us from idolatry. Kids, even you can learn soteriology. Soteriology studies how God saves us from the wrath of God and our sin that enslaves us. So it's not just a bunch of big words for our head, but how Christ took the curse we deserve when He bled. Let's read the acrostic of salvation, for Jesus and His work to be our foundation. We'll read it, rap it, we'll sing it, it's fun, till Jesus comes back and His kingdom has come. Adoption Adoption is being brought into God's family. We were far from God in sin, along with all humanity. So without God the Son, then Satan is our daddy. Like Cain who killed Abel, we were hating God so badly. Adam was God's son, Israel was as well. But as disobedient sons, they did rebel. Christ the obedient Son always loved His Father, by faith in God's Son, we become His son or daughter. Baptism Baptism is a sacrament given by Jesus. It's a sign or symbol pointing to how He cleans us. It's a picture of washing by His Spirit in His blood because our sin left a stain more serious than mud. Communion. Communion is being brought very close to the Lord by His body and His blood, which were broken and poured. If we trust that He bled when He was crushed in our stead, we can take the sacrament of the cup and the bread. Dead. Dead in our sins, we were doomed in our darkness. Inside our hearts was like the tomb of a carcass. Christ buried our sins when He was laid in the grave. God raised us up with Jesus. By grace we are saved. Election Election. God chose us before He made the universe. But His choice was not based on who was best or who was worse. Without election, Jesus, we would never receive. If He didn't choose us, then we would never believe. Faith Forgiven Faith is trusting Jesus and not yourself to save you, that He died for your sins and was raised from the grave too. By faith, we're now connected to Jesus, our treasure, Forgiven and changed in Him, He keeps us forever. Glorification Glorification, the final part of our salvation. The Father chose us for this before the world's foundation. Glorification will be when Christ returns from heaven, when He'll resurrect the dead bodies of all His brethren. If we die before that, our souls go to heaven with Him then finally in heaven we'll never ever sin. When He comes back, then we'll see Him in His glory. In our new body we'll shout, Jesus, we adore Thee! Holy Spirit 
Holy Spirit. He's the third person of the Godhead. He's God's resurrection power, so Christ is not dead. He takes Christ's salvation and brings it to us. When Christ comes back, he'll make a spring from the dust. Intercession Intercession, Jesus lives now to pray for his people, saying, Father, forgive them for their ways that are evil. The Father is pleased as Christ intercedes on our behalf. Our high priest died and then was raised to appease all his wrath. Justification Justification is a free gift that is priceless. By faith in Christ, God the Judge declares that we're righteous. God crushed his son for our sins, so now when he sees us, he views us like we live the perfect life of Jesus. Knowledge Knowledge in the Bible is knowing God and loving Him. But Adam lost the knowledge of God by loving sin. We can't get it back now by being students in college, but Christ gives it to us when He renews us in knowledge. Life Life was promised to Adam if he perfectly obeyed. But God also threatened him death as the curse if he strayed. Adam would have lived forever if he had obeyed the Lord. But he sinned, now separated from God by the flaming sword. Jesus came to earn the reward of eternal life. He lived perfectly, then died to take the curse and strife. He underwent the flaming sword, then was raised from the dead. Now we live forever by faith in the Savior who bled. Means of Grace Means of Grace, these are the things that our God uses to build up His church. Acts 2.42 proves this, like prayer, fellowship, and the preaching of the Word. And the sacraments help us see what we have heard. New creation. New creation. The life of heaven has begun. For those united to the resurrected Son. Though not yet in heaven with the resurrected body. Born again with new hearts. Now we don't want to be naughty. Old man. Old man, we're guilty slaves to sin in Adam. Every single boy or girl, sir or madam. But if you pray, Lord Jesus, please rescue me, then Christ, who is the new man, will set you free. Propitiation. Propitiation means Christ satisfied the wrath of God which is what our sin deserves, we should be smashed by his rod and thrown in the lake of fire. But Jesus took the plunge. When he died on the cross, he soaked up God's wrath like a sponge. Quietness. Quietness is what the Spirit of God imparts. So instead of worry and fear, he calms our hearts. When we trust our Heavenly Father's in control, then the peace of God will quiet and guard our soul. Resurrection Resurrection is when Christ was raised from the dead. We too are raised up with Him, our Savior and Head. In Him we're rescued from the kingdom of darkness. Jesus was raised as the first fruits of the harvest. First, we're raised with Christ in regeneration. It's being born again, a heart renovation. When Jesus returns, He'll raise our bodies that are lifeless, raised from our graves at the resurrection of the righteous. Sanctification. Sanctification. Our hearts He's patiently changing. God sets us apart from sin to praise and obey Him. We're no longer slaves to sin since the Lord has freed us. The Holy Spirit makes us more and more like Jesus. 
transformed. Transformed is when the Lord changes what we want in love. This change begins in us when we're born from God above. In Christ, the Spirit changes us into His image. The work He started, He promises He will finish. Union with Christ Union with Christ, God sees us in His beloved Son. Joined to Christ, what He's done counts for us because we're one. In Christ we have every single heavenly blessing, yet we get Christ Himself, which is really the best thing. Victorious Victorious, since Christ conquered Satan, death, and sin. By faith in Jesus, God guarantees we get the win. Since Christ secured our salvation in history, we're more than conquerors. Faith is the victory. Wisdom Wisdom. God says that it's not just about being smart, but it's fearing Him with a truly obedient heart. In Christ we have God's wisdom, in Him forever blessed. All knowledge is hidden in Christ, wisdom's treasure chest. Expiation Expiation, Israel had an atonement day. It's when the scapegoat carried the people's sin away. This pointed to how Jesus took away our sin. When he died on the cross, all our guilt was laid on him. Yes. Yes, in Christ, God's promises are yes and amen. They're the same promises that he made to Abram. He'll be your God, circumcise your heart with his spirit. The new heavens and the new earth you'll inherit. Zero. Zero is the amount of goodness that we own to make us righteous before God's matchless throne. Zero is the number of saviors besides Christ. Zero is our sin debt since Jesus paid the price. Closing Refrain Now we've read the acrostic of salvation. Has Jesus saved you from sin, death, and Satan? Say, Jesus, cover me with your righteous robes. In heaven, he'll give to you the brightest clothes. Amen.